so it was last saturday guys when i decided to do this solo trip to the slopes of mount elgon where i did solo camping at the mount elgon national park for the very first time ever guys and let me tell you this decision has actually made me realize that you cannot afford to limit yourself as a person because you have the power and the ability to do even much more on your own guys by the way, I'm so excited to show you what I did over my stay there at the Mount Elgon National Park. So hit that subscribe button, like this video and share if you like this kind of content because much more interesting videos are coming up on this channel. So stay tuned guys. By the way, if you look closely, you'll realize that we are going up the slope and the Sabaot people are the ones who mostly live around this area. They do a lot of farming. They have large farms as you can see on the background you guys and they also do a lot of animal keeping they keep cattle and sheep in this case because sheep survive very well in cold areas and like goats so basically this is the way that you lose if you're heading to the mount kenya sorry <laughs> to the mount elgon national park whether you're using your own private means or public means which in this case is a motorbike like the one that i'm using This right here is a very large coffee plantation that goes all the way to the Ugandan border and I'm not sure who the owner is but beyond this place guys there are ranches that are owned by the ADC company and also the Kenya Seed company where they also do their own kind of farming you know. Bike me up. Finally, here at the park, you guys, after a long 30 minutes ride on the rough terrain, but you know what? Every journey has an end, and this is mine as beautiful as it is. You guys can see for yourselves. So right in front of me is where my camping site is. So let me walk you through and maybe show you a thing or two that I packed for my camping trip. Ile ngini nasikii kwa mbali? Two kilometers from here. Finally at my camping site and this is the Cholim campsite as you guys just saw there and this is the campsite that is very close to the gate just a few minutes walk from the gate there are other campsites in this park about three more someone is helping me carry my bag and I'm about to show you guys what I carried for my solo camping trip for about two days so that you guys can have a clue on what you can carry when you are going for your own camping trips. So guys, this is what I carried for a two night camping. I have some mats there. I have a drink here. Some biscuits which I think that I'll not be needing them. I have these ones. I have queen cakes. Oh my god, it's like I came here to eat. <laughs> and I have queen cakes. Uh, I mean, 
cookies. Also, I have my speaker here just uh, to keep me going. I have my earphones. I have, this is very important by the way. This is a mosquito repellent. I, I had to buy it. I would, uh, I, I definitely will be needing it. Yes, guys. And some, this is for my neck to keep me warm and socks as well. So yeah, basically, of course, water. If I knew they had water here and it's clean water, I wouldn't have bought my own water. And I had to carry a tissue paper, you know, essentials. Yeah. So guys, this is what I carried for my two night camping trip, which I don't know um, how it's going to be. Yeah. So let me go and set up my tent. 